Hey there, everyone. Welcome back to GovCon Hacks. I've got some good news for you today. I know many of you have been waiting to see how do we update our DSBS profiles. If you're new here, my name is Ashley Duell. I'm your host, and uh, please do like, subscribe, and share this video with someone who it'll help. We do go live on our channel most Thursdays at 7 p.m. Eastern, so be sure to bring your questions. All right, so the new system for DSBS, or now SBS, Small Business Search, has come out of beta. So when you type in dsbs.sba.gov, you'll be forwarded to this URL, which is search.certifications.sba.gov. This little sign-in button and help guide appeared almost overnight today, so we're going to go ahead and get logged in. In the instance that you don't have an account with the SBA, you're going to go to Whoops, excuse me. You're going to go here to sign up right underneath the login as a business owner. For me, I do have an account. Now, in order to sign up, you are going to need handy uh, the UEI cash code and your tax ID number to be able to claim your profile um, once you are in. But I'm going to go ahead and log in as a business owner. Now, if you have a existing account in the new Unified Certification Portal at certifications.sba.gov. This information should fill in for you. This should all look familiar. Go ahead and click Next. You will enter in your password and do your multi-factor authentication. Bear with me one moment while I retrieve this login code from my inbox. And we're going to pop it in the box there. Okay, now I am logged in. I see my name up here at the top. I will draw your attention to this help guide before we get started. There are a lot of resourceful um, screenshots and information here. If you are brand new and you do need to create your account, uh, this is what that will look like. Um, and then also to claim your company too uh, will be in here. There's also some helpful information on, you know, showing up better in the search results, which is definitely helpful. But for now, we're just going to go ahead and edit Dual Dev LLC. If you do need to claim your business, this is what that looks like: UEI page, tax ID, and then you'll find and claim. Since my information has been claimed since the old system, I'm just going to go over here to edit my information. You will now notice this is a new feature, guys, and I think this is pretty cool. You can choose to show or hide your contact information from your DSBS profile without making it fully private. So that is going to help curb down on some of the same spam that you're getting and some of the unsolicited emails that are probably appearing in your inbox. We want the government to still be able to find us and they can contact us via um, our government business point of contact information in sam.gov. So if you do want that privacy, you can go ahead and remove some information um, one by one. Capability narrative, this is more or less your elevator pitch. Preferably, you're gonna want your website link in here, guys. So. Um, I, you would like to drive your audience back to your domain, so if you can host that capability statement on website, it's even better, but something's better than leaving it blank. Um, also, this information comes from Sam. I love how they're telling you if you want to change this, just go ahead and log into Sam right here. Now, this is going to come up every single time. Um, don't Unless you made a change, be sure to hit save, but if you haven't made a change, it's okay to hit leave this page. These are my principal owners. You probably have um, this already in here if you have ever updated your DSBS profile in the past. And this, these are your self-certifications from your SAM.gov profile. All right, any SBA certifications that you might have will appear here. Those cannot be edited by you, and it will show your entrance date. If you see it here, it's still active, you're good. 
And then non-federal government certifications can be any state level certifications, Native American tribe or industry related certifications that you might have as you see here in the examples. NAICS codes, can't change those in here. Those come from Sam. Um, and keywords no longer has a character limit, it looks like. So that's definitely cool. We have a little bit more flexibility in the keyword section because you never know how many different ways a human might refer to your services. Now you're able to enter all of those different ways without worry that you're exceeding character count. Special equipment and materials, this does have a 500 character limit I see. Bonding levels, quality assurance, not much has changed there. One significant change I do recognize is that there is a save changes button at every section, which is definitely an improvement from the old system. All right, so this is whether you want to export products or services to other countries. Um, keep in mind, ITAR EAR does play a role here. If you say yes to that question, you're gonna have to fill out all, all of those um, additional sections. If you say no, there's nothing to do here, you can go ahead and move on. And then last but not least, performance history. Um, pretty much the same information, none of it is required. However, it's intended, I, I recommend putting the end username here. You do have space if you need to put, you know, Department of Defense, Subcontractor to Alliant or Boeing or what have you. Uh, not always will there be a contract number and the value, um, you know, make the determination. I wouldn't necessarily list any humans in here to be contacted if they are not aware that they might be serving as a reference. So just do a good human due diligence and, and make sure it's okay with them that you list them there. You can add several, um, you know, a few is fine, but we prefer to see something rather than just leaving it blank. So comment on this video, like, share with somebody who this will be helpful for. I know many of you have been submitting questions and, and commenting, wondering when this was gonna become available. So I hope that this was helpful for you and we look forward to getting your questions in. Have a great day, everyone.